Okay, so welcome to another Feature Friday. We're going to talk about the new work order application that showed up in Manage 8.5. So, put on your seatbelts. Let's take a quick look at this uh, new application that kind of snuck in on us. Okay, so your first step is to log into Manage. Then, make sure that you have access to this new application. Go on down to Security, Security Groups whatever group you happen to be a member of. I'm going to pretend I'm in Max Admin. Go to Max Admin, click on Applications, do a little filtering here, and just type in Work. And you will see down the list of all the things that have work in them, there is one called Work Orders. And you'll notice that it is a tool and task type. Click that. You just have one option for read access. And then don't forget to come over here to actions and apply the security template. And you will notice that there is a new security template called Woe Summary. And all you would do is go up here and apply that template. When that's done, click OK and you're finished. You should now have access to this application. OK, so after you or your users have logged out and logged back in again, Let's go find that application. All the way down in the bottom, go to Work Orders. Keep scrolling down, go into Role-Based Applications. Keep scrolling down, and there's the new Work Orders application. Give that a click, and you'll notice it keeps you in the same tab, and you always have access to your Manage uh, modules over here on the left-hand side. You're presented with a list view. Imagine that. So a highlighter too is notice that uh, over on the far right hand side you have a create work order button that you can make use of. Also notice that you have different views so you can have queries that you can save and save those as new views that you can choose as you use the application in the future. You also notice there is an export data or download button and also notice that you can manage the columns so you're able to uh, rearrange the columns that uh, are presented here um, on the screen as, as you'd like. To get out of this mode, you re-click that Manage Columns button. All right, so let's move on and actually open up a work order here. Look at the representation that we get. So a couple of things to highlight. Notice the status line here. This is really nice visual as to where this work order is in its life cycle. You're actually able to, over here on the right-hand side, uh, click Edit and Edit a Work Order, as you would expect. And there's also quite a list of actions that you can uh, take from here as well. You know, follow-up work order, create another work order. If you got workflow behind the scenes, you can invoke that. Status changes, changing owners, and even look at the source record that the work order came from. Then over here on the left-hand side, of course, you have the summary view, which you're looking at now. There's also a related records view that has the other work orders or even the service requests that are related to it. Here's any workflow assignments that are done. And then there's, of course, a, a work log that not only you can see the work log, but you can also add a comment to the work order as well from here. Let's go back to the summary view. You're able to see the work type. You can see the priority. Also, long descriptions are there as well. And then you can see all the fields that you would expect to see uh, here on the, uh, on the screen. And of course, there's attachments. We can take a look at, at zero files here. In this particular situation, it doesn't look like I'm able to add attachments to this work order from here. OK, and we can look at history. This is all the, the status history of this particular work order. And if there's been any ownership changes and such as well. And that looks like about it. Okay, so a quick look at a new application, a uh, nice high-level summary view for uh, those folks that uh, need that type of view in Maximo uh, directly out of a browser, really simple thing to use and provides them a lot of information. So hope that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next week.